god. Dad, man, I'm not sh myself. What is up guys, welcome back or to the channel. If it's your first time stopping in, don't forget to go down below and hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It is a nice, beautiful, uh, it's about 75 degrees today here in the Northwest. We're rearing down towards the end of the day. It's currently eight o'clock. So I'm gonna spend my last hour, hour and a half before it's dark outside working on the truck. Like you guys saw in the last video, we got the truck all tore down. Well, the front half at least tore down. Getting ready for the new lift. Today we're gonna be working on, like you guys saw the title and the thumbnail, the axle. The axles, um, we're gonna be cleaning them up, sanding them down, and refinishing them some paint to make them look a lot better. Because right now, that is not show quality. The front axle isn't terrible, there's a little bit of surface rust, but it's not bad. We're gonna get all that cleaned up. And if you go to the back here, here's the rear axle. You can see the lift blocks have some rust, but those are going away, so that's okay. Leaf springs have some surface rust, so we're gonna go ahead and sand those down and refinish those too. The rear axle is not bad at all but it hasn't been washed yet. I did already wash the front axle, so we gotta wash the back one too. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna degrease the axles, wash them, sand them down, and paint them so that we look nice and fresh for the truck show and get this thing one step closer to being done. We only got about an hour to an hour and a half a day that left, so I'm gonna get as much done as I can today, and then I'll come back tomorrow and finish them up. So it's the next day. I got a lot of the axle sand down last night and today I came out here and ended up getting the uh, four link off, pulling off the caliper and I got it hung up here which is some 16 gauge wire. The, stuff, the same stuff that I used to uh, hang up the parts when I was uh, painting the air compressor. Got the uh, rotors off, as you can see. Got them sitting over there because they were uh, stress cracked. The uh, pads themselves weren't, weren't actually that bad, but we got new ones anyways. So this side's pretty much completely tore down minus the uh, spring which I'll pull out once we get the uh, We'll get everything cleaned up and painted and then we'll get the new four link in and then we'll take out the springs and replace those. But I wanted to stop for a second to show you guys. It's got this side, uh, the four link off as well and got my caliper off and hung. And I noticed that one of these stupid little tiny clips, I think they come from factory, was on this side. So I gotta get this uh, stupid, uh, these things are a pain in the butt to get off. So I'm gonna pull it off real quick and then get this last rotor off. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I got that out. Pretty simple, I sacrificed one of my straight picks that was straight, now it's slightly curved, but it's Husky, not the Milwaukee one, so we're all good. And I just went through and uh, kind of went behind each of these tabs and bent it out. And then I bent like, three of them, I think. Yeah, three of them. And that gave me enough room to go ahead and wiggle it off. So not too bad, but still a pain in the butt. All right, so it is a new day. Um, it's currently 90 degrees here. It's supposed to be 96 tomorrow, super hot. Let me know in the comments down below what the temperature is where you guys are at. So today we decided to pick up two canopies. We also have a box fan going. The plan and the goal is to get the front axle completely sanded down. And then we're gonna jack up the rear end, start getting it tore apart. As far as take off the wheels, I'm gonna pull the mud flaps off finally. And uh, we're gonna get it all sanded down as well. So that way we can start getting them colored and getting them all cleaned up 
and ready to go for the uh, Idaho show. Lots of work to do. It's also really hot out, so not really fun working in the uh, heat like this, which I'm sure some of you guys, it's way hotter where you're at. So we can't really complain, but we're doing the best we can to combat it and uh, make it comfortable. So we got padding, we got box fans, and canopies. So it's the next day. Um, it's currently 97 degrees out, so I'm trying to film as much as I can. My camera overheated yesterday, so I wasn't able to film that much. But currently, currently today, let me adjust the freaking lighting, because I, like I said, it's so bright in certain spots, and we're over here in the shade, trying to be. But we just pulled out the rear blocks, and I uh, got the rear axle on jack stands, and we're currently working on sanding it all down so that we can get ready for paint. The front axle is pretty much done, but it's out and uh, it's completely dismantled from the truck. We have all the parts sitting over there. We got the springs. We got the spare tire dropped out of the rear too. Took off the mud flaps finally. The rear fender uh, liners, because we're gonna sand down the leaf springs and everything. That's all I want. Ooh, dowdy. God. That man, I about to shit myself. Yeah. So a little update, we just got done taking the track bar bracket off because we I just messaged Kevin, he's gonna send me a new one. But uh the welds on this were subpar to say the least. A little bit. Agree. Very disappointing. Harbor Freight-esque. What I went through I took a floppy disk and grinded everything back down. Looks a lot better and uh, we're gonna repaint that so you won't see. You might see like a little tiny imperfection like right here. That's hot. But uh, other than that, it looks way better. I mean, there was like a, what do you say, like a freaking at least a quarter inch of weld three on three there. Quarter, yeah, yeah it was pretty bad. But uh, we're gonna go through and uh, now reclean this axle that has all this nice fine welding dust on it. And uh, then uh, after that, start degreasing. We might get to that tomorrow. Right here, just clean. Goddamn bike. 